Tustin is an interesting city because you get a lot of different flavors. How Sean was talking about it before we just started, it really is true. You can have all the way up to new construction, which is very rare in Orange County, all the way to old town Tustin, which again is very rare in Orange <laughs> County. And you can have ranch homes, which yeah. is also pretty rare in Orange County. Yeah. It's everything here. I mean, it's, it's pretty nuts that this city that's not a bit, you know, it's not a very populated city, has so much to offer. And just as you can see behind us, this is like the, this is the one of the blimp, you know, blimp hangers that were like, you know, circa World War II. Yeah. So this is like, this was like one of the major landmarks of all of Orange County. Mm -hmm. And uh, this area, like this uh, Tustin Marine Legacy. Air Base. Yeah, the, this, this all kind of closed down, was decommissioned, and they started developing right around here. And Legacy, Tustin Legacy is one of those few new constructions in, in all of Orange County that's actually really Centrally, centrally located, located. Yeah. yeah. That's what makes it particularly rare because while new construction is limited in Orange County, centrally located new construction is even more more limited. So the fact that Tustin has that is kind of interesting. Yeah. So we're just going to show you some of the different flavors of Tustin. You may hate master plan communities. Well, Tustin has some areas we, that are master plan. We got you covered plan. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have like you have a little bit of. You want master plan? We got you. If you want, if you don't want master plan, we got you too. Yeah. You want ranches with horses and stuff? You got that too. I mean, you have a little bit of everything. Again, this city is not that populated. Yeah. But it has so much to offer. So you want to just get started, Sean? Let's do it. Let's do this. And now we are going by a sign here that says "Welcome to Tustin Legacy" because that's what this little area of Tustin is called. The area immediately surrounding the two blimp hangers. Nobody quite knows what's going to happen to those. There is rumors that they are going to keep one of them, de demolish the other one. I have no idea. But yes, the area immediately surrounding the blimp hangers is new construction. There's a lot of new buildings coming up, new commercial buildings. It's definitely under development as we speak, which as I don't know if you've ever watched this channel, but that's rather rare in Orange County for actual new construction to be going on. I, what I love about Tustin Legacy actually is the fact that it's really easy to get to, right? So you're sandwiched between the 5 freeway and the 405 freeway, so really convenient location. And then um, you're right next to Irvine. And we always talk about, talk about Irvine being the geographic center of Orange County. Well, Tustin is just northeast of it. I mean, it's right there, so super centrally located. And as far as Tustin Legacy itself is concerned, you actually have the district in Tustin, which is one of the major shopping areas of Tustin itself, where, again, you have, like, you have Costco, which we obviously know is near and dear to my heart, but also we have Whole Foods, Lowe's, Target, you know, a bunch of stuff right there. And before we continue, please excuse the messiness of our car. It's... I blame the children. I don't know. I feel like they kind of learn from us. But anyways, my name is Courtney Dezod. And, and I'm Sean Dezod and we're married if you are wondering. But anyways, uh, we are licensed real estate agents here in Orange County, California. Yeah, and if you're interested in Orange County, if it looks amazing to you, what you wanna do is you wanna call the number below and that way we can set up a Zoom call. Well, that way, and also from there, we can find out what makes sense for you, whether you're three months out, six months out, a year out, it doesn't matter. What we wanna do is just get you on the right path, so call the number. Also part of the district is a lot of restaurants. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do in there as well. It's not just um, shop, shopping and that kind of stuff. And also they have a movie theater too. Oh yeah, they have a movie theater as well. So what you're gonna notice here is that it's pretty horrific. It is actually cloudy here, it's overcast. And that's what we do for you. We, we will go out in the cloudy weather. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll make that for you. We're gonna make sure that we take care of our, our viewers and show you this place in cloudy or sunny weather. Yeah, I mean, it's actually 65 degrees, which is quite frigid. 64, 64. Oh, 64. It's dropping. It's quite frigid, so we are braving the elements to bring you this video. So here we are in one of the new construction pockets of Tustin Legacy, and I will let Sean talk about this area. He actually did help a buyer purchase in this particular spot, so he's particularly expert in this little area. Yeah, so this community, you have a little bit of a mix of both single-family residences and townhomes, and they all have a garage, so you know that's kind of how this one's set up. Um, no, I, I really like it a lot, and I love how close it is to the district. And then in this Tustin Legacy area, you have a mix of everything. You have condos, townhomes, single-family residences. It really just kind of depends on what you're looking for. So we just left the community of Greenwood at Tustin Legacy, and this area is really cute. So it's you know built around 2015. These are really cute single-family homes, kind of a more, I guess, traditional style, not so super ultra-modern or anything. 
And these homes are actually pretty good size. I mean, they're you know approaching 4,000 square feet and it doesn't come cheap. And at the time of this recording, there's a property actually that's in the, that's available for sale in Greenwood, and it's actually already in escrow, and it was listed for uh, 2.49 million. And depending on where, you, what area you're watching this from, like where you're from, you might be thinking, well, 2015, that's not new. And all I have to say to that is, for Orange County, 2015 is really new. We're not talking about something that you know we don't have that much development here. So honestly, anything that's the year two, built to the year 2000. <laughs> or newer is pretty much considered new construction. We just don't have that much new construction in mass, like big developments in Orange County, like post 2000. Also, I think for some reason, 2000. In the year 2000. Seems new to me because I often forget that we're in 2023. It's very strange to me that uh, time has gone by that, that much. So we just passed Legacy Magnet Academy and it's a very new school. I think it opened maybe only one or two years ago so i don't even think it has any rankings yet but yeah so it's combining science with entrepreneurship i don't believe it has any rankings yet so i don't know what the rankings are like on greatschools.org or niche.com has anyone ever combined science with entrepreneurship is my question i don't know and has it ever worked out i don't think it has no. i don't know but maybe one day. maybe maybe it will after all fingers those, crossed after, after all those students <laughs> grow up <laughs> But if you're interested in the rankings of the Tustin Unified School District, according to niche.com, I think they are the number eight school district in all of Orange County. So that's just something to know. Uh, the it's niche not us saying it, it's niche.com. Yes, niche.com and greatschools.org. Those are some great resources to find the rankings of whatever school you're thinking about in all of Orange County. So interesting thing about Tustin, it does tend to check off a lot of boxes when it comes to, like let's say if people are looking for like Irvine, like honestly, we get a ton of people like reaching out because of Irvine because obviously it's got the name like nationwide people are familiar with it. Tustin in a lot of ways does kind of fulfill, again, depending on the person, but it does fulfill a lot of needs for people where they look at Tustin as a great alternative to Irvine. And what I actually, like, we're actually driving right now towards Tustin Ranch, which is again another part of Tustin. And this is like 80s, 90s build mostly. Like, you know, so Legacy is like, you know, 2015 let's say in plus but like you know like Tustin Ranch is you know like again mostly like I would say 1990s and so it has a lot, a lot of a South Orange County feel to it actually and one another thing that's amazing about Tustin is that it's got two Costco's not one but two and uh, one of the main one of the other major shopping centers here is, is called the Tustin Marketplace. Yes yeah, so if you're interested in where to shop in Orange County Sean can tell you literally every place, which place has the best deals. If you have a particular item that you're looking for, Sean will tell you which Costco it is sold for the least. Now, I misspoke. I called this the Tusted Marketplace because that's what it used to be called. But, um, you know, since they've developed this thing in the first place, they've actually made it for both sides. So it's, it's straddling, uh, like, so, so Jamboree kind of runs right through it where one side is on, in, on, in the city of Tustin, the other side is in Irvine. So now it's called the, the Marketplace rather than the Tustin Marketplace. So we're driving through Estrella, which is a community within Tustin Ranch. And this really, again, has such a so South Orange County vibe to it. You know, when we talk about the Orange County vibe as far as the master plan communities, stuff built in, let's say, the 90s, we, always, always, we tend to talk about Irvine South, but really it's more Tustin... Tustin Ranch South, and uh, it's again, it's just your prototypical what you would think of an Ur like a uh, South Orange County Master Plan community, where everything's like a different shade of beige. I mean, this is again, I actually really like it, but again, it's just calling it for what it is. Yeah, Sean actually grew up in Orange County. I did not. So when I first got to Orange County, I actually hated the master plan communities. Uh, you know, how everything looks the same. It's like the stucco, every stucco house that's a different shade of beige. Now, I, you know, I like what master plan communities are for you. They offer nice amenities, you know, nice walking paths, parks, that kind of stuff. So I actually appreciate that now. But when I first got here, I hated it. Yeah, so this whole different shade of beige and all that stuff, like, again, like according talked about, if you're like not from here, you may find this not as apt. Like for me, again, this is what I was born in. I just, this is all I know. 
And so, but for Courtney, this became uh, a version of Hotel Orange County, California, because she could check out anytime she wants, but she will never leave. So yeah, within Tustin Ranch, you actually have the Tustin Ranch Golf Club. Again, you have a lot of homes that are, you know, golf course, like fronting the golf course. Again, I love Tustin, Tustin like the city of Tustin and Tustin Ranch is in, in particular a really cool pocket of it. Yeah, I would say that Sean's happy place is a master plan community, whereas I have a more reluctant appreciation for Oh, it. you're all in now. <laughs> Yeah, and we just want to show you just how varied and different Tustin can be. Literally not even a minute north of Tustin Ranch. We are in this cute little neighborhood. It completely reminds me of North Orange County in terms of these are all older, cute homes, ranch-style homes. It's not HOA. We even saw somebody who's adding a second story to their home. Obviously, when you're not in an HOA, you have more freedom to do what you want. Obviously, you still have the city and all that stuff to deal with. But it's just so interesting how Tustin can give you such different feel. And it's, as Sean was saying, it is a small city. It's just kind of interesting how different and varied it is. Yeah, you only have about 80,000. You know, this is like a population of about 80,000 people. And again, it's, it's so interesting how there's so much, like there's a lot of shopping options here, dining options here, like totally different types of homes here. Like, you know, like brand new, newer, older and old like it's kind of like a little bit of everything so it's it's fascinating so again just to show you the different flavors that you get in tustin here we are in old town tustin again orange county is very new so to have an old town i mean some of the old towns that are coming to mind right now like orange or san juan capistrano so tustin also does offer that and there's lots of different restaurants around here you know bars that kind of stuff i mean obviously Sean and I do not partake because if I'm not in bed by 8 p.m., like, I really don't like that. Yes, so. but if you do, <laughs> like, that's what you have here is, like, yes. it's really cool to have. What I love about it is that this just kind of completes the whole Tustin feel to it, where you have, again, old with newish and then brand new. Yes, I mean, so if you're not boring, boring. Like, like us and you actually like to do stuff, then this could be a spot that you go actually do stuff. Yeah, yeah and I don't know if we if the camera got the, the plane, but actually I didn't realize the, the planes come pretty low down here, so you can hear it pretty well. Obviously, Orange County is small, so there are a decent amount of areas in Orange County where you can hear the airplanes. So I would say that Tustin, in a lot of ways, is just a microcosm of Orange County itself, right? You have old like you know main like you no know, like old town type old type of properties you have newer and then you have like brand new you have everything here and so it's a lot to take in you know they have associations some are, some are in associations others aren't associations some have melarus other things do not have melarus which that is and if i haven't brought that up melarus is for new developments a lot of them actually to fund the infrastructure like schools roads fire stations they actually tack on an additional uh, amount to your property taxes annually. And so that can be rather significant. And so um, again, to navigate all that is a little bit overwhelming. And that's why you gotta reach out to us so we can help you find that perfect property. So this neighborhood that we're in right now, it's considered more the historic part of Tustin. Although these houses are probably more like the 1960s when they were built. That just kind of shows you how new Orange County actually is when you're historic, when you're built in the 1960s. And then you can get some older homes, some more truly historic homes, meaning like 1900s-ish, that kind of stuff. I actually love the idea of a historic home, but uh, Sean and I, we actually had an experience recently uh, staying in Airbnb. This was in Texas though, but it, like an older home, and it is kind of crazy like how much stuff cannot work you know, the heating, the water, all of that stuff. So it is something that you need to be can, uh, conscious of if you are wanting to buy an older home. I would say over the years, as I've been in the business with Sean, I've really come to understand why he tends to like things that are newer, that everything is already done for you, all that kind of stuff. So I'm I'm learning slowly why he likes that stuff. And when I say new, when, when she was mentioning, when Courtney's mentioning newer, we're not talking about brand new necessarily. Obviously that's great. However, it's almost like, what are you looking for? Because like with brand new, a lot of times what you're missing out on is space, right? Like, you know, they're not, they're on like, you know, they're, they're very vertical. Even a single family residence can be like one of those three story floor plans where you have your garage, 
main living area and your bedrooms. So some people just don't like going that vertical. Um, so that, that sweet spot, right? Like stuff that was built, you know, like you know, it's a lot of Orange County was built between the 1970s and the 1990s. And that seems to be a sweet spot for a lot of people. So for me personally, I actually really do like the homes that were built in, I would say, around the 1990s, only because it's still new-ish but also you still have land and you, I mean, not like we're not talking about acres, right? But we're talking about like enough, you know, space for a proper yard and that kind of thing. So I, my personal preference is probably stuff that was built in the 1990s. Yeah. It's funny as I get to do more in this business and I meet more real estate agents and stuff, I meet a lot of people that say they like the 1990s. That that's like their favorite era. And I don't know if it is because the lot sizes do tend to get smaller and smaller and smaller, the newer and newer you get. But yeah, it is kind of funny how, you know, everyone's got their preference and the, the real estate agents tend to really like the 90s. Of course, the 90s has the best music and the best movies, so maybe I that's was, why. I, I was literally just about to say that. I'm like, you know what? 1990s, <laughs> great decade right there. It was. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. So here we are, we are in North Tustin, and the reason why we're here, because North Tustin is not actually part of Tustin. It is a census designated place, but we have gotten, I can't tell you how many people have asked us to show North Tustin, and since we're doing you know, a vlog tour of Tustin, why not show North Tustin too? And it actually reminds me a lot of Yorba Linda because it drastically changes in terms of the to topography, very hilly, you can see lots of, the hills are green right now because it's been raining a lot, but I will say that that's unusual. And I'll let Sean tell you a little bit about uh, what you can get if this is something that's interesting to you. So I would say there's two standout features about North Tustin, um, one of which is because of the topography, there's actually a good amount of homes that actually have nice views, some, some fantastic panoramic views. So that's what, like, if you're looking for views, North Tustin's a good option. Two. You have land, but also, which kind of bleeds into the, really, the second point is there's some equestrian homes here too, so that's kind of a cool thing where, uh, again, if, you, if you're if you into horses and all that stuff, you may be able to find something here. It's kind of interesting how Sean was saying, like, it is a microcosm of Orange County in that you can pretty much get anything you want. Like, there's so much different variety, whether you're looking for a master plan community, whether you're looking for, you know, hilly homes in the hills and, you know, big lots, that kind of stuff. So whatever it is that you're looking for, call that number right there, and we can set you up with our team. We can get started on finding that perfect property for you. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Okay, and I have prepared a little, just a little clip at the end. It's mostly for my own amusement because when we're making these videos, I, just, I honestly just try to amuse myself because <laughs> if I'm not having fun doing it, you know, why do it? Okay, a simple wrong would have done just fine, but uh, 